Coming up today on Great Day Connecticut, big praise for a tiny rental. River Barn in Essex has been named the coolest Airbnb in our state. Melissa Cole is bringing us along to check it out. And we're hitting the road with the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. We're getting a sneak peek of their brand new traveling visitor center that will be making stops all along the shoreline this summer. Plus, biking, circus acts, movies, and more. Renee Danina will be here with her full rundown of all the fun things happening in our state this weekend. We're making your day a great one starting right now. Welcome to Great Day Connecticut. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. How are you? I'm good. You know, today is a day to get our Zen on. Right, can we? Uh, I just got to read these two real quick. And then you'll get your Zen. And then we'll get our Zen. <laughs> uh, because the morning show has been so packed with the uh, the coverage of the I-95 closure. Oh, my I didn't get to these couple. Which of we're going to have updates, of course, coming up for you. Absolutely. Uh, the Goshen Garden Club annual plant sale pre-order forms are available online at GoshenGardenClub.org. Mm -hmm. Order forms and payments must be received by today. So oh. I wanted to get that on. You can pick up the plants from 9 a.m. to noon. And then on plant them for Mother's Day. Exactly. That's what I want. But you can pick them up on May 18th, all right, at Camp... Uh, Camp Cochipiani. Okay, on Beach Street in Goshen. There's that one. Uh, this one I'm particularly interested in, and unfortunately I'm out of town. The First Congregational Church in the Waterbury Chapter of the American Guild of Organists present Ron Ebrecht in, co in concert. Ebrecht, uh, join us to hear this world-famous organist perform works of Bach to Fats Waller and more. The concert is free, 222 West Main Street in Waterbury, Sunday, May 5th at 4 p.m. Free, and then it raises money for scholarships. Yeah, you, you give want. a donation. If you want, and yeah. it's, uh, so it's great. And you listen to this w unbelievable organ that's this majestic instrument, and you just love it. I would love that. Right, okay. I'm, I'm done. It would actually make you feel very calm, which is a good way to start the weekend off. Mm. Today is National Garden Meditation Day. I didn't know there was such a thing I as Garden either. Meditation Day. But, <laughs> but look at all these people. They found a garden. It encourages people just to take time out from your hectic routine, get outside and yep. meditate, which could just be walking and feeling your feet on the ground, just really anything that puts you in the present moment. Even just planting a plant. Right. Absolutely. They, in fact, a lot of psychologists will say they've helped people treat their anxiety and depression by just having them teach, uh, take up gardening because it gets them outside, which naturally raises our serotonin levels, and it gets you doing something with your hands. I was at SCAD yesterday doing a story. It's a um, alcohol and substance use uh, substance use recovery program, okay. and they have a huge farm. They put on all these plants, and the clients are working on the farm. Oh, wow. It really is incredible. Yeah, it's meaningful, and you get to see growth, and um, yeah, I've been trying to get outside and just do, even if yeah, just weeding. Yeah, still but weeding. It's, you feel good. That's because my son is supposed to do the mulch, and we're waiting for it to oh, be done. Oh, Julian. <laughs> halfway done. Halfway okay, done. Okay, let's get on that, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a long time. <laughs> all right. Um, so, I'm not sure if the reason that you didn't shave today is because your iPhone didn't work? No. I just didn't <laughs> shave today because I cut myself in three places. Oh, because it was here, Friday and you're like... Here and here. I don't see any I, cuts. They were. They I think were, it's because you ate ice cream for dinner and decided to be lazy. I, had ice, I went to A.C. Peterson's last night and I had dinner. I had ice cream for dinner. Mind, well, mind you, the, the rest dippity. of us, Caitlin and I and Melissa, we're on the Prolon cleanse. Yeah, you're on a cleanse and I'm eating ice cream <laughs> for dinner. That's what I had for dinner. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So anyway, uh, but there's some seriously complaints popping up uh, on social media that people are oversleeping because they're not hearing their iPhone alarms. Apple's on it, but they've acknowledged and they've acknowledged it's a problem. But there's this setting, and they say you should disable the attention aware feature, which oh, would maybe automatically lower the sound of your alert if the phone thinks that you're already looking at it. Where is that on my phone? I don't know, but like unless you set it, you might well, be okay. Wait, forget about it's, it. Okay, Caitlin Amato's gonna help me. She's gonna producer. help you. You know why she can help you? Her brain's working better because she's on the Prolon cleanse and didn't have ice cream for dinner. She is on the Prolon uh, cleanse. That's yes. right, she's doing it too. Yes. God bless. I'm going to do it with you in three weeks. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Here's a question for you How much would you spend on a date? Well, 189 kind of, bucks? That's the average, right? That's a pretty good date. Yeah. I'm thinking Wendy's. When it comes up to picking up the tab, 33% said they're likely to pay for the date. Look at this couple. But they're having I a great time. I don't know. Time. Am I old fashioned? I still think that the, if, if men, men should, should pay, pay for the date. Yes. What if it's two men? Then what do you do? Well, that, I wonder. What do you do? You st I think whoever asks the date 
asks for the date, pays, should pay. Pay, should pay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if I, if I were to call you and say, hey, Kara, what are you doing? Let's go out to dinner. Then it would be my responsibility. Well, to you and I would just go. Well, Dutch. just we'd just go Dutch. But like if we didn't know each other, and you right? I say, hey, Kara, I saw you, and I really like to take you out. Then it would be my responsibility to pay for the dinner. Okay, I agree. I, I just wonder, you know, and, and I've said this, you know, when people are younger, and let's say they're both in their teens or twenties, and um, and they don't have a lot of money, I still think. Um, I'm old fashioned that whoever asks, or the, let's say it's the guy, I think you should pay it first. That's just my uh, opinion. And then if you but go then Dutch. I guess if you keep going and, like, you know, you're not really working yet, then you got to yeah. figure it out. Take I turns or pay or Dutch. Or you both or work are, it you know, out. one of you has makes more money. I don't know, just something. Exactly. All right, for the 16th year in a row, CBS is the most watched primetime network. Yeah. And they just unveiled the schedule for both the fall and the spring. Mm hmm. So get ready for your TV. Many fan favorites like Tracker. Have you seen the guy in Tracker? I haven't seen it yet. I mean, we except we did an interview, but I mean, I, I want to see the show. No, yeah. I know, I know why everybody's watching it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's going to come back. Several new shows are also going to debut, including one starring Oscar winner Kathy Bates. Ooh. Take a look. Stars of comedies and dramas hitting CBS this fall came out to celebrate Thursday night, block party style. Each show part of the CBS community of entertainment, including new Monday night sitcom Papa's House, starring Damon Wayans and Damon Wayans Jr. Hi, New York City. The Elder plays a legendary talk radio host who finds himself still parenting his adult son. Every father's dream is for his son to inherit the family business, and our business just happens to be punchlines. Another newbie to the CBS neighborhood, Kathy Bates as Matlock, a reimagining of the classic television series will air Thursdays. She plays a brilliant lawyer who rejoins the workforce in her 70s. It really shows, you know, starting over, having a second chapter with, with a career or, or in life. Uh, yeah, I mean, I certainly wasn't expecting to get this offer at my age, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that this opportunity came along. Many of the much loved CBS favorites are staying in the lineup, including The Neighborhood. That is going to air on Mondays. Also, Tracker, about the reward thrill seeking loner who travels around in his silver Airstream. That is now going to air on Sundays. Tracker launched in February and is now the most watched primetime series of the broadcast season. And finally, CBS staple NCIS gets an origin story. Mark Harmon originated the role of Leroy Jethro Gibbs in 2003. He'll executive produce and narrate Gibbs' early years as a special agent. Right now, everything is golden. NCIS Origins will air Monday nights, and the entire lineup debuts this fall. Lauren Posen, CBS News, Los Angeles. All right, now CBS also announced the new reality series called Summit about a group of 16 strangers who attempt to scale the New Zealand Alps. And Drew Barrymore will bring back Hollywood Squares. I love it. I wonder who's going to be in the center square. Maybe it'll be me. <laughs> Maybe. Paul Lynn was in the center square, right, for years. And then Bruce, uh, Bruce uh, oh. Valanche. Bruce Valanche was That's in the Valanche. center square. Anyway, I'm going off a tangent here. Well, we have a great show for you yeah. coming up on your Friday afternoon. We have food, festivals, fundraisers, plenty of reasons to get outside. Renee Danino is going to be here with a full rundown of all the fun things happening for your first weekend in May. And an adorable place along the shoreline has been named the coolest Airbnb in our state. Melissa Cole takes us inside the River Barn in Essex. Great day, Connecticut. We'll be right back.